Hi, welcome to this video. Today we will create and place custom sliding doors in this project. First let's look at what sliding doors are available. We can distinguish between external rail and wall sliding doors, pocket doors. Within these there are one leaf, double leaf and even multi leaf sliding doors. I've collected some style and material variations here. Let's start making custom sliding door. I activate the floor plan. The first sliding door is placed between the kitchen and the utility room. This is an external rail, one leaf sliding door created using the building menu, door, new door, door wizard. In the door wizard you can choose from different schemes. We choose a single leaf sliding door that runs in front of the wall, but there are double leaf doors that run in front of the wall and single and double leaf doors that run in the wall. We will go through the menu items. First we set the main parameters, the width is 900 mm and the total height is 2100 mm. You can set the display of the opening direction in 3D. We can open and close the panels. In this example, we only have to deal with the upper frame. This will be the rail. So we select the top frame and give the frame its profile. Here, by clicking on the blue plus, we select a U-shaped profile from the folder. We can see that the profile is exactly the opposite of what we need. Clicking on the small pencil will mirror the profile to the Y-axis. Now the position is good, we can start rewriting the profile size. Its width remains 100 mm. The height is adjusted to 50 mm. The X offset is 100 mm, which means that you will place the rail 100 mm above the door opening. The Y offset will be 0, so the profile will be exactly on the wall. The overhang of the frame should be 910 mm. So the rail will extend 10 mm from the open wing. In the next menu item you can set the threshold. We enable it first and then select a profile. Rewrite the width to 50 mm and the height to 10 mm. Also here we rewrite the length extension to 910 mm. The material is set to shiny aluminium. I forgot to adjust the material of the frame. Now click back on the frame and set the material to shiny aluminium as well. I set the property of the sash. Here I can specify the properties of the materials. The material of the inner and outer side and the edge foil can be specified separately, but if you want all the materials to be the same, click on the Select All Similar option and then select the material Exotico 3 Wood. At the basic geometry panel, the thickness of the sash is adjusted to 20 mm. Furthermore we can move the wing away from its centerline. I keep 0 mm because I want the door to run in the middle of the track. And here I have to move the top of the wing, minus 90 mm. This is how the panel will fit in the rail. The first sliding door is ready, which I saved by clicking on the save button to the library under the name sliding door with external rails. Then I select our own category, subcategory, sliding door and I can enter our monogram for the manufacturer. Accept it with OK, then place it on the wall. I set the opening direction. Click on it to rewrite the distance measured from the wall to zero. It should be mirrored that the rail falls towards the kitchen. Now the position is good, let's look at it in 3D. If I click on this little open door icon, I can see in an animation how the door opens and closes. You can also enter the opening angle manually. 100% means a fully open door. If you enter 50%, it will only be half open. And now I modify this sliding door. I insert a glass. 
Right-click on the door and select Door and Properties and insert to set its properties. I want the insert to be 200 mm from the left and 600 mm from the right. At a distance of 0 mm from the bottom and top, so run along it. The thickness of the insert is 5 mm. Change the material of the glass to glass 29. The amendment has been made. I saved this in the library with the same name. Let's look at it in 3D. Let's rewrite the opening angle to zero and watch the animation. The next sliding door will be a sliding door running in a double leaf wall between the kitchen and living room. As I have already shown, under Building Menu, Door, New Door, Door Wizard, select the double leaf sliding door running in the wall between the schemes. First I set the main parameters, let it be 1800 mm wide. Here I can set it to have symmetrical wings. Respectively, the total height is 2100 mm. This is where the profile height of 50 mm comes down. In the display, I set the opening direction to be visible in 3D. You can choose different profiles for the case, but now I keep this rectangular profile and choose the material, Exotic 03 or the material of the upper frame. Now I will create the threshold in the same way as before. The width should be 50 mm and the height 10 mm. Adjust the material of the wings. You have to pay attention here because there are left and right wings, they could be of different materials as well. Click select all similar options and set Exotic 03. Thus, all parts of the left and right wings will be of the same material. For geometric properties I set the thickness, 20 mm. Respectively, I also adjust the thickness on the right wing, 20 mm. Now adjust the offset of the sides of the wing, 50 mm above the right wing, this is the thickness of the frame, and also 50 mm to the right. The left wing has an offset of 50 mm to the left and 50 mm above it. The offset can remain 0 mm from the center line, so the sash will be exactly in the middle of the rail. I will also make a thin metal fiber insert in this door, so I will allow the insert. I need to adjust its dimensions on both wings. For the left wing, the offset will be 640 mm from the left and 200 mm from the right. The distance from the top and bottom is 0 mm to run along. If I want the metal fiber to protrude a little from the plane of the door, I need to set the insert thicker than the thickness of the sash itself. Adjust to 22 mm so that 1 mm will protrude on each side. I set the material to a chrome color and now I do the same for the right wing. Here the offset is 200 mm from the left and 640 mm from the right. From the bottom, from the top in the same way 0 mm. The thickness of the insert is 22 mm. The material is chrome. I am ready with the metal fiber sliding door. I save it in the library as a two-leaf sliding door running in a wall. I select the appropriate categories. I accept and place it on the floor plan. I switch to 3D view. The distance from the wall should be 50 mm. So it runs right in the middle of the wall. Click on the small open icon to see the animation. Then in the properties panel, 
set it to be half open, so you specify 50%. And now we are replacing this sliding door with a sliding door made of 8mm tempered glass with an outer rail. That's why I delete the door and create a new one. As I showed earlier, under Building, Door, New Door, Door Wizard, select the two-leaf scheme running in front of the wall. I set the main parameters, 1800mm wide, symmetrical wings. Height 2100mm. This is the height of the opening, above which the rail is located. I set the display of the opening direction in 3D. For the case, select the same U-shaped profile as for the front door. This profile should also be mirrored on the Y-axis, and I will now enter its dimensions. The width which means height, is 100 mm and the height, which is the width of the rail, is 50 mm. For the sash to run in the rail, the X offset should be 100 mm and the Y offset 0 mm. Choose shiny aluminium as the material. The threshold is set. As before, select the profile, enter the width, 50 mm and the height, 10 mm. Offsets can stay here. I choose that the material is shiny aluminium. Now I will specify the properties of the sash and panels. Here, too, I select all the same ones because I want both wings to be tempered glass. So I choose glass 29. For the geometric property, I set the thickness of the left wing to 8mm because it will be an 8mm tempered glass. The offset of the upper side of the wing is set to 80mm. So the wing will run in the rail. These settings must also be made on the right wing, thickness 8mm and offset 80mm. That's it. I will place handles, which I will be able to do on the inner and outer handles by clicking the Enable Handle option. I choose a unique handle from the library. I have already downloaded a handle to the accessories, handle directory. I will select this. I accept with OK. The handle appears on the left wing. I place the same handle on the inside of the right wing. This is where I place the inner handles. This should be repeated on the outside of the sash as well. So I click on the outer handle on the right wing, enable the handle, and then select the custom handle from the library. The previous steps are repeated on the left wing as well. The sliding door is ready. I save it to the library as an outer rail double leaf glass sliding door. 
Select the My category, then the Sliding Door subcategory and enter the name of the manufacturer. Place it on the floor plan. I need to rewrite the distance from the wall to 0 mm so that the frame is placed exactly on the wall. Now let's look at it in 3D. Activate the 3DS window and click on the icon to start the opening animation. Then open the door to 40%. I am ready with the custom sliding doors. We were talking about external and internal rail sliding doors, we also made sliding doors with glass and metal inserts. Thank you so much for watching this video.